In determining how Namor should fly, we wanted to make sure that his flight patterns in motion was different than any of the other characters we've seen flying in the past. We were trying to come up with ways that when he flew that he would feel powerful and intimidating. And that did boil down to trying to develop wings on his feet that felt really real, that felt like they could generate enough thrust to sort of push him through the air and through the water. So we kind of explored flight motion in birds, and we kind of landed in a world that was probably combining the flight patterns of hummingbirds along with larger birds of prey. That was kind of step one. Step two then was how do we make his movement differ and how can we connect it again back to things that we're somewhat used to. So we looked at how a helicopter moves. We looked at track and field as well, so triple jumps. One of the things that Ryan Cooler brought was parkour. He liked the idea of the winged feet being something that felt like he was stepping through the air and pushing off of them. I was also really interested, because he's so intrinsically tied to water, the idea that whatever downward force was coming off of those wings would use the water to showcase how much power was actually blowing off of the wings. So this was a live action set and stunts had a wire rig that had two pick points on Tenroch's stunt double's hips. And then the wires pick him up as he takes two steps, as he then takes off. And then at a certain point, we transition from the practical element to a CG character. The part that I'm most proud of, looking back at all the work that we did on Namor, was the collaboration between the artists and the supervisors at ILM with Ryan and the filmmakers here at Marvel Studios and the result that we came up with together. I think is a, is a super fun idea and it was so much fun to try and accomplish.